Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets and I am Amanda. Today I am here to do my week one budget projection for the month of October. Yes, it is October the 1st, 2021. So we are going to dive into these numbers and we're going to figure out what we're going to do with this week's paycheck. I get paid every single Friday. Therefore, I budget my money every single week. So if you are interested in this sort of content and how I budget my money and the different technique that I use, then please stick around for the remainder of the video. those who are new to my channel and welcome back to those who are old who have been hanging around with me since day one okay what I'm going to do this week is I am going to display a copy of my pre-written budget on the screen so that you can follow along with me as I rattle through these numbers and be able to tell all of the dollars where to go for this upcoming week. Okay, at this particular time, you st should see the um, display up on the screen and we're gonna dive right in. I wanna try and go through this as quick as possible because there are several numbers and expenses here and I know these videos can get pretty lengthy. So I'm gonna try my best to keep this as short as I can. So I was able to find some inspirational thoughts this morning with it being October the 1st, 2021. Hence all of the pink that you see across the top of my sheet because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And therefore, I typically do pay tribute to this month um, to um, breast cancer survivors and honor those who have passed away because my mother did pass away from breast cancer on December the 24th, um, 2014. So it's been almost seven years since she passed away. So, but I do continue to do something as it relates to breast cancer awareness even if it's, you know, nothing but give a donation to the charitable organization in and of itself so that they can, in hope, find um, some sort of cure or way to lessen the spread of this cancer so quickly to individuals. Okay, also you see at the top of this, the page, I have hashtag wait for what and hashtag start today. Those are two um, motivational phrases that have kind of been on my mind lately. What are we waiting around for? It's never going to be a good time to do anything that we really want to do because we can justify anything we want to justify. We can put reasons, excuses, which is what they really are, in those places and you know really never get started. So don't wait. If there's something burning in your spirit, your mind, whatever it is, go on and get started today. Because if the sooner you start, the sooner you'll get going and the sooner you'll reach your goal. So you don't want to wait around. All right, let's dive in. This is week one, budget projection, October the 1st, 2021. First item that I am projecting out of this week's pay is my mortgage. Also, you will see me looking down on the page because I do have the physical tablet in front of me. Mortgage for $268. The water bill, $98. Phone and internet, $239. Auto insurance, $73. Student loan, $100. Daughter's college spending, $25. 
the debt amount or the debt monies that I'm able, these are monies that I am able to pay toward my debt each week. So it's considered, I guess, extra money for some. But yeah, that will be $304. Next household expenses, $194. Children's savings accounts, 200 <laughs> I wish it was 200 One day it will get there probably. $28.50. HOA fee, $6.70 and last the cushion amount of $26.15 which is what I like to leave in this account just so it won't be set at zero every single week and also I use that money for pretty much whatever I want to use it for unbudgeted items so it's just a little money to just kind of sit in that account. All right, so the total for this week in expenses is $1,362.35. Now, let's go down to the next line. I normally leave $1,228 in this account every single week because over the months, that is what my average amount of expenses has been per week. So I leave that amount in there every week. So, with that being said, however, this week's total expenses are above the 1228. So let's subtract those two numbers. $1,362.35 minus $1,228 equals $134.35. That number gets a blue cloud around it because it has a relationship with another number on this page. And that total amount is the amount that I will be pulling out of my bill savings account right here on paper. I'm not doing that in, in um, real life or realistically. So that's just for me to get through the calculations here on the page. So um, with that being said, yeah, we'll pull that amount out of the bill savings account right here on paper. Now that's step one. Step two is to go back through these expenses and put a pink PA, which means put away, means put this amount away because I'm not paying it this week. However, I do allocate it out of this week's paycheck. So you see the PAs beside the various items, the mortgage, the auto insurance, the student loan, that debt amount, and the HOA fee. Let's talk about the debt amount real quick. I'm not able to send that extra debt money to the mortgage this week because I haven't made the monthly payment yet. I typically make my monthly payments on the second Friday of every month. This is the first Friday. Therefore, all monies for the mortgage will have to be put on hold until next week. Then on next week, which is week two, I will dump all the extra debt monies plus the regular payment toward the mortgage. That's typically when I get, you know, get to pay a hefty amount on it. But at the end of the day, even if I was making weekly payments, principal only payments, it will all still average out. But just because I haven't made the monthly payment yet, you cannot make extra payments because they want the monthly payment taken care of first. So that's that. So